Titus 2.14 says, Who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. I like that phrase, eager to do what is good. When I was growing up on the farm, uh, we had a clothesline just outside our kitchen window. There's actually, it was a fairly good sized pole and there, there was a cross beam uh, at the top with, I don't know, about four or five different clotheslines running off it. So we took a, a piece of plywood about that square, about maybe a foot or so, and nailed it to the top of that clothesline post and, uh, and then we put breadcrumbs on top of that. And the birds would come and feed on that and uh, we would enjoy watching them. Our uh, big tomcat discovered uh, this uh, source of food and he would climb up uh, the pole, but he wasn't interested in the breadcrumbs. Uh, he had uh, something else in mind. But what he would do is he would sit at one end of that crossbeam and uh, uh, just wait and then the birds would land at the other end of the crossbeam and they'd kind of work uh, their way toward that little piece of plywood in the middle with the breadcrumbs on it. And uh, they would eat from the near side of that and the cat would be at the other end of this crossbeam, uh, just watching them, just totally focused on them, his legs ready to spring at any time, his tail is twitching away. And to me, that is a picture of eagerness. I think that's what this verse is to, uh, talking about. Uh, a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Just give me the chance, I'm gonna do what is good. Um, for you uh, bird lovers out there, you need to know that that tomcat never got any of those birds. They were always way too quick from him. Uh, in his case, the eagerness didn't pay off, but I still love the picture.